Substance. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Communications and Information Technology and asks what further progress has been made on rolling out faster broadband around New Zealand. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, further to yesterday's announcement of the first partners of the Ultrafast Broadband Initiative, this morning I announced the shortlisting of tenderers for the Rural Broadband Initiative. This follows quickly on yesterday's announcement of the partners who will help roll out ultrafast broadband around Northland and through cities and towns in the central North Island. The Rural in Initiative received a number of high quality bids and three have now been placed on a short lift. I expect the final partner to be announced early next year. Supplementary question. Louise Upston. What are the economic impacts of the broadband rollout? The Hon. Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, delivering much faster broadband will greatly improve telecommunications, lift productivity and provide for faster growth in New Zealand relative to the rest of the world. Of more immediate benefit, the two deals announced yesterday will directly lead to the creation of an estimated 300 jobs across the ultra-fast fibre rollout in the Taranaki, Waikato and Bay of Plenty, and the North Power rollout will see an extra 50 people employed. In addition, the Rural Broadband Initiative will see hundreds more employed in developing and deploying the network to rural schools and communities. Claire Curran. Is the Government's intention that legislation for a regulation-free period until the end of 2019 for successful bidders will apply to the Rural Broadband Initiative as well as the Ultrafast Broadband Scheme? If so, will that regulation-free period only apply to new fibre or other technologies which have not been laid yet and are agreed to in those schemes? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, first, I don't agree with the member that it is a regulation-free period at all. The, uh, the pricing will be set by contract between CFH and, uh, and the bidders in the ultra-fast broadband. Now, the rural broadband uh, will be different. They won't have the same regulatory mechanism as broadband as it also differs in a number of other ways. Louise Upston. What feedback has the Minister received on yesterday's broadband announcement? Speaker, yesterday's kick off of the urban broadband rollout generated some excellent feedback, including from the local councils and the coverage areas who universally welcomed the announcement. In addition, Internet New Zealand stated Ultrafast broadband is a game changer and the services will be affordable and really will drive the uptake of fibre. Even IDC analyst Rosalie Nelson said it is encouraging to see the emphasis that is being placed in the two regions on making fibre accessible and affordable. Rob Orham said nothing. The combined urban and rural initiatives mean we are now on the way to ensuring New Zealand is well equipped for the future. Question number six, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Thank you, Mr.